still getting the, uh, we're back. We're back. Still getting that cereal taste. Yeah, still working that cereal out. Um, so, uh, FOCO, um, has been really great. Send us a few more things. We... They did. They loved our review, which I'll link up here. And, really? Yeah. <laughs> and it's, you know, they said, what else do you guys want? And I said, I reached out to them and I said, my boss is a turtle fan. What do you got? And he's like, oh, I got these. So, um, these are part of the, this new totem yeah. thing. I've seen a couple different versions. Little ones, big ones. I gotta mm-hmm. say though, after opening these, these are actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you know, well, we've got this is the so we can open one. This is the same box style, but we do have the Comic Con mm-hmm. exclusive Michelangelo. The here, New York Comic Con. Which we'll get talking about here in a second. And we do have. And we got Leo. Now these are called Ikis. Ikis, okay. Ikis. So this is like a pop. However, it looks as if it's carved of wood, and it actually kind of feels like it's it's made out of wood too. But I, I think it's more of a resin. Yeah, I got I gotta say, um, you know, we have a the pop here, pop this. It's almost equal weight wise, but at the end of the day, yeah. But that that Clark Griswold pop is a lot heavier than I the, would say the standard pop. You know, we do have the Invisible Man. So here, put here's the Invisible Man Walgreens and yeah, put it right in the next. box. Yeah, you're right. Yep. I gotta say though, um, this is really cool. Uh, I, I like these look overproduced. They're mass produced. They are. Let's they be are. honest. Yeah. Um, but I gotta say, because I mean, yeah, are these these are all done? They've got similar markings, mm-hmm. but they have like a handmade quality that I think I appreciate. And then again, pretty much anything Ninja Turtles, you know. Well, they also have different weapons too. So like here yeah. we have we have Mikey's hands with the uh, nunchucks, and he's reached out like this and then um we have Raphael with with the sigh and you know his hands are a little bit different i mean they're in the same place we look at them from the back yeah. it's all very similar yeah um now this is this is the uh comic con new york comic con exclusive one yes. which is the mirage version of mikey as now, when you, you say when you say that what does that mean so um the original mirage tmnt comic book mm-hmm. uh which was eastman and laird before yeah. it became the the TV show, mm-hmm. they all just have red bandanas. So right. the only the only way to tell the difference between them was their weaponry. When they put right. it on the show, that's when they added, which you can actually see here, which I kind of find funny, they added to the belt, mm-hmm. you got the color. The letters. The letter of their name, and that's... Uh, well, I think that's, I mean, just as marketing goes, that's identifiable. It's no yeah. longer this underground comic, which it essentially was... And the, the comic was in black and white. Yeah, it was yeah. black and white. Yeah, yeah. so it, well, it took a long time before it transitioned to color. And I got to be honest, there's uh, so many different runs. But if you're into the whole Ninja Turtle thing, I suggest check out the first couple volumes mm-hmm. and then jump around. Uh, you skip the the comics that are based off of the TV show. But there are some really really good runs of this, uh, especially the death of uh, Donatello. Oh, was a recent didn't even one. know that he died. Yeah, he's back. Well, everybody comes. Nobody yeah. dies. Like Spider-Man. Oh, uh, Batman and the Ninja Turtles. Great crossover. There's also oh. Ghostbusters and the Ninja Turtles, but oh. Batman, uh, watching Batman eat a piece of pizza is one, you know, as a fat guy slash That's pretty cool. uh, nerd. It was yeah. great. Well, when you have those iconic moments for characters, you can do the crossover. Exactly. You, you want to see it. It's yeah. like Superman you gotta go getting hit with the alien coming out of his chest and he yeah. immediately like heals and stuff. So you want to open this one? Check uh, it out. Yeah. See what it's like to open. I always like the money. So these boxes are really neat, and I think only Donatello. I mean, sorry, only Raph, Mikey, Michelangelo comes like that. But you can get all the turtles in the regular colors. Yes. And the only ones that we don't have here, just so you could be aware, is there is a Shredder and there is a yeah. uh, Master Splinter. Yeah. And we have the. Uh, We'll put the picture up, of course, but they're all in the back of the box here. Um, the boxes are pretty neat. It gives that totem kind of look to it. Yeah. They're not just straight squares like they are. Well, for and, the, and uh, you know, I kind of, I mean, you know, they licensed it from Nickelodeon, so you got the Nickelodeon orange. You kind of have the wood grain on the box, which is really cool. Um, you know, listen, everybody's competing with Pop on one way or another in this in this size. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're not going to do something a little bit different, 
you're not going to go anywhere. So, you know, I give FOCO, uh, for, for, for what, this is their first year doing non-sports memorabilia, yes. right? Yes, they do the majority of uh, bobbleheads for that you buy in the team shop. Not so much the giveaways, the official like licensed ones for the team, as well as the players that you buy in a gift shop. And I, so I'd say they went pretty all in. You know, you got your your, your DC pops, which mm -hmm. we, or I'm sorry, bobbleheads, yeah, which we uh, reviewed a little while ago. Check it out up there. Yeah. Um, and this is another good fan service. You know yeah. what I mean? You got DC, you got Ninja Turtles now. You've got not just, hey, here's your four. You got mm -hmm. Splinter, you got uh, Shredder, and then you even got, you know, not a lot of people went as far as going, oh, here's a, you know, Comic-Con exclusive, and these guys, first year out of the gate, went Comic-Con exclusive. They so. had several, and uh, they had a Beetlejuice that was really big that everybody liked. Um, actually, it was it was the married couple. You can yeah. get that in the Glow in the Dark. They had a lot of Warner Brothers products, so this is interesting to see Nickelodeon, which is not owned by Warner Brothers. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you because you're the Ninja Turtle guy. Uh, there's no pops for these, right? Have they done pops? No, they have pops. They have done they, pops. They've okay. got your standard set. You've got you know with the turtle wagon, mm -hmm. and you got I think a metallic. There's some some pricey ones. Um, I, I I've skipped them. You know, I, I it, well, it gets to it gets to be the point where if you didn't catch them when they first came out, you're it. paying a bit of a forget premium. It. And these, I got, I wouldn't put a pop on my desk. I could put that on my desk. That would look, yeah. that would look yeah. cool. So you know, as a Star Wars collector, I I would like to say I actually I prefer this over the new version of Hasbro's Mighty Mugs with the, the different faces yeah, and stuff. Okay. I love the old school Mighty Mugs, and I still mm -hmm. have some. I have a bunch of Star Wars. I have most of the Indiana Jones ones. Believe it or not, but I like these because one, it's different. I don't have to do the face, and I'm getting all the character I need right yeah. here. So I, I don't have to like hit a face, hit a button. And am I gonna take out that crazy box? If they come? No, it's just gonna you stay know, in the box. And my my first idea was because I I honestly these kind of screamed like totem to me. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was kind of hoping that maybe they'd be a little bit more flat. So oh do, yeah, to do the do something like this. Yeah, but I'm okay with it. Yeah. Well, you maybe know. that's maybe that's. Like phase, wow, yeah, the they difference get, in weight. Well, and you know, you, we should flip them around. Like there are differences, even though they're, you know, like we're gonna so, them, so. Lo look at what Leonardo's back, how detailed it is, yeah. and then Donatello's is less. So yeah. and, and there's know, a little bit more brown here for Donnie, where there's a lot more black, except yeah. in the mouth. So there's all these great little details and things yeah, I gotta to see. Say. So and it, it's weathered. It's not brand new. Yeah, it's all automatically weathered. So again, I I think these are neat. If, if I had a uh, a cabana bar or a, a you know a pool bar or something like yeah. that in my house, I think I'd want to have these on display. Well, for your audience, you know what I mean. You're not mm -hmm. going to buy this for uh, for like for my son. He's seven. I wouldn't buy yeah, this no, for this him. But for this isn't a toy for him. My cousin, who's a giant Donatello fan, I'm going to yeah. tell him that. Yeah. Um, I would get these for him. He yeah. he definitely dig them. Uh, so all in all, pretty cool. I actually am a little disappointed. I will go and buy the Shredder, but when you check it out, he's got uh, some real cool eyes. Yeah, they're red. We'll, yeah. We'll, I'm going to spin this box, so... Well, I'll just put a picture of Shredder up. So, yeah, I mean, we'll get them all from uh, FOCO, which is FOCO USA, I believe is their website. Um, they have an Instagram account. They post a lot of cool stuff there, so I definitely want to check those out. And uh, yeah, Spread the word. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, they're, they're just hitting the market, so mm -hmm. you know if you're into these things... You and know? their their bobblehead of Bane breaking yeah, Batman's was, back yeah, is just was so that was our, in our top ten from New York Comic yeah. Con and it's just a fantastic toy and it's sold out through the roof trying to buy one online forget it it's just one of those weird dark moments from comics and there's actually like a bobblehead of it so it's, yeah and, it's strange and I, you know just to speak to the company uh, there's there's a fair amount of newer kind of toy companies that are coming out this year we get a lot of solicitations. Um, and they are like mostly in that fifty to seventy dollar price point. Yeah. Where it's almost like okay, you know, here's another version of a Mezco, here's mm -hmm. another version of a NECA. This is doing something different, so it's not trying to tread on other people's water. Yeah. It's hey, here's something else that you know could uh, yeah. add to your collection. Yeah. And Mondo does a lot of the tiki glasses that you yeah. can get, so I'm sure you could probably get something that would complement these for a, for drinkware that would really go with your full like bar yeah. tiki lounge kind of thing. These will so. probably end up on my bar. There you go. All right. Well, I guess that's it. I mean, uh, I'm really happy with them. They're super cool and yeah, very so, cool. Foco, thank you guys. Thank you. Check us out: Instagram, YouTube, 
Facebook, corporate, and regular. The closed group is uh, 45-ish. The main group's over 100K now. We're is it over 100? Yeah, it's, I think we, we're either just hitting 100 or about we're, to. We're closing in on 6,000 for the uh, Instagram. Yeah, so. we are. We're, uh, we're getting there. So, guys, happy holidays. Thanks See so you. much. Thank you.